What's going on guys? It's uh, JB with Self Made University. I am one of the professors and founders of Self Made University. Today, I wanted to go ahead and review the Davidoff Oro Blanco, which is uh, my personal favorite smoke. It's uh, from Dominican Republic. It is from 2002. Um, the price tag on this one, I believe is $500 USD. It is. Um, but it's it's kind of weird because the price tag is not really what makes this uh, cigar so exclusive. I mean, yeah, the, the quality of the cigar and whatnot. But I would say it's the availability of the cigar. It's just a hard cigar to get a hold of. Um, that kind of tells you how many people have money, right? Because, I mean, uh, each cigar shop will get like 10 to 15 or 20 of these in stock and they go out in two days You know, they literally disappear from the shelves in two days just because it's just an exclusive cigar So that tells you how much money is actually out there. Can you and show it, us the box a little more? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course And if you're not enrolled in our in our uh, self-made university, in. make sure you guys enroll into that But it's a beautiful beautiful cigar. I'm gonna go into more depth with it. You guys can kind of see it's a beautiful box. I'm going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. So let's go ahead and uh, pop it open. And I'll kind of give you guys a little description of it. It does come in a nice thin cedar wood uh, box here. It's, it does have also have nice finishes. If you see here, there's a nice finish here. There's also a nice finish on the tab, which is kind of nice. I don't know what you could use this box for, I guess, to hold your cigars, just make them look premium. And it does have that nice, clean Oro Blanco logo, and does have a little bit of the history of the Oro Blanco that you can read, which is kind of cool. And it's solid. I mean, it's solid wood. Like, feel that. You hear that? Mm-hmm. That's solid. I mean, it's it's probably more solid What's than What's it say on it? All right. It says, when our master blenders came upon the Mayo Zone... Mao zone, they sensed that they could grow the finest tobacco plants and make the most exceptional cigars when after potentially aging that tobacco for 12 years, they knew their sense had been perfectly right. Huh. Okay. No kidding. So that's why it's so expensive. It's like a it's scotch. Like exactly. Aged. So they, they pretty much aged this cigar. It, it is from 2002. They, they did age this cigar. There is, there is also a, another Oro Blanco. And it's the Churchill Oro Blanco, and that is a 1990s cigar, and that's another super expensive cigar. I think that one is 1500 USD, if if I if I correct, is it 1500 something like that? All right, so here is the cigar. It does come on one of these pop-up straps. You can see it's fit perfect for that cigar. It fits exactly perfect, perfect dimensions. Like I said, you could probably use this for your other cigars if you want to keep it nice and fancy. And here it is, guys. Here is the Special Reserve 2002 Oro Blanco. It just looks I'm just focusing. Looks amazing. Yeah, that's it amazing. is from the Dominican Republic. It smells freaking awesome. And I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the wrapper so we can take a look at this even closer. Wow. It smells great. Smell, wow. Smells like 12 years of tobacco? It does. <laughs> it truly does. I'll be honest. Um, and one thing that I've noticed like right off the bat, the Davidoff uh, little, I don't know if you guys can see this whole silver end right here. Normally Davidoff cigars are gold. It's weird that they put this almost like a platinum silverish over their logo, which is quite interesting. It actually even has it over the Oro Blanco. Kind of looks and feels more exclusive. You know what I mean? And it smells amazing. I mean, for a 12 year old cigar, it just looks and smells amazing. You gonna light it up too? Oh yeah, we're gonna cut this bad boy. We're gonna cut it with the uh, DuPont. I got you some water too, in case you get thirsty. I'm gonna get thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> so the tobacco doesn't get stale? I don't think so. I mean, tobacco is just, you know, it's a plant that they put in the sun and they let it dry. So it's already stale when they, they dry it in a sense. It's, in a sense, yeah. yeah. Okay. In a sense. But from what I heard, and I don't know if this is true or not, but uh, I heard when they use the Oro Blanco or when they finish with the production of the Oro Blanco, they keep it in cider barrels. I don't know how true that is, but it is a legend and I wish I knew how true that was. If you guys come here and see some of this, I, I do want to show this. 
take a look at some details that they made here. They added a, a lot of, I, I, I'm going to call it like white gold because the Oro Blanco means white gold. So I'm guessing that's why they added this white gold finishing all, all over their Davidoff cigars. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it, right? Mm -hmm. It looks it looks really, really nice. Fancy. So here we go. We're going to take the DuPont. It's a JT DuPont. It has a standard and it has the V cut. I don't know what I should use. Should I use the V or should I use the standard? What's better? I personally like the V. Yeah, I would do the V. But when it comes to something like this, you want all that flavor. I do want a lot of flavor. So we're going to use the standard, oh. which is a full cut. Okay. And we're going to find our little. We're going to ash it all over to the New York Times because it's not nothing but bad crap. news. <laughs> <laughs> In a sense, yeah. All right. So let's get all this stuff out. And let's go ahead and take a little bit of a draw. Make sure it's uh, nice and drawable. Tastes good? I can taste it. Already? That's incredible. All right, let's take the DuPont lighter here. All right. We got to use exclusive items when we're lighting up an exclusive cigar. You can't use a, a cheap, cheap lighter to light up uh, Oro Blanco. You just can't do it. All right, let's light this bad boy up. You always want to toast this. You always want to toast a cigar. And this is how I toast it. You guys can... Everybody has their own ways of to toasting their cigars, which is there is no real wrong or right way to do it. I mean, at least in my opinion, as long as you get it nice toast, nice and even here. I like to. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make it nice and even because when you do draw on it, it'll give it that even flow, you know, as you're smoking. Here we go. The first draw of Oro Blanco. I already know how it tastes, but I'm going to taste it like I was a cigar virgin. <laughs> cigar virgin. No, it tastes good. It tastes really good. You know? It actually smells good. You know about the theory that I just talked about, the whole barrel, cider barrel that they use? Yeah. I feel like I can taste the barrel. I feel like I can smell. It doesn't smell like your typical cigar. You want to try? Hell yeah. Give that a taste. It has like a, how can I say it? It's a very earthy, earthy cigar. Like an earth I've never type. wanted to inhale so badly. Oh my <laughs> God. That is... That is good. That's fancy. That is good. Wow. I mean, Ooh. and I tell everybody, for $500, you'll get a good smoke. And what's nice about this smoke is just not a lot of people, like, maybe they can, but I'm just going to say this out anyways. A lot of people can't afford a $500 cigar. And that's probably what also makes this exclusive because it is a $500 cigar. And, the, and, I, and I truly believe cigars is a definition of burning money. It's literally burning money. That's nice. And it tastes good too. And I think if I was to choose a drink, I would go with Louis the 13th on this one. With that nice cognac with this, uh, it has that earthy texture, a little bit of the spice, a little bit of the wood. You can, you can taste the cider. So it just it, it, it feels good and guys if you have not signed up to our courses yet I don't know what are you doing with your life I have made just I mean we just launched these courses and I have made over 5,000 people successful and self-made like that's just incredible I've been getting emails I've been reading your guys' email and I want to say thank you guys for all the emails I do appreciate everybody I am trying to respond to everybody um, nothing but good things. I do appreciate it, guys. I understand I changed a lot of your guys' lives. Um, also, Dan is another one of our professors, another one of our self-made. We One thing that we do try to preach and teach is how to get people out of the, the slave world. Hopefully, we don't get canceled for this, but you know how things go. So... 
if you're gonna rate that cigar, one to ten, what what are we talking here? <clears throat> All right, so I smoke, and you know this. Yeah, I like smoke five the, cigars a day. <laughs> I do. I, I do smoke five cigars a day, but I try to cut down on that. You know, I've been doing four now, but uh, I smoke a lot of. Tampa exclusive Davidoff, which is a very good smoke. It's more of a mild smoke. It's not as uh, it's not as hard as this one. Um, if I was to give it out of a ten, I would give it an eight. Damn, an eight. Yeah. You know why? What? It, it's full of flavors. Mm -hmm. I think for a virgin smoker, if there is any virgin smokers, they would hate it. And here's why: because it does have that tobacco. The cider, that earthy taste, is it's not pleasant to virgin smokers. It is pleasant to smokers that have been smoking cigars for a while. Because cigar lovers understand flavor. They do understand flavor. We're still making yeah. money on the background? Yeah, I've never I've never tasted a cigar oh. like that ever. Yeah. I've also never spent five hundred on one cigar, but yeah, I, even well, the nice cigars don't let, taste let me like tell you that. something. I spend about I want to say 120,000 a year just on cigars. Jesus. Just on cigars alone. And it's not because, and you know, before everybody comes attacks me and says, do you know what cigar does to you? Do you know what a cigar, before you guys even start there, let me tell you what cigars do to me or for me. Cigars relax me, okay? I work, I don't know, what do you say, 18 hours a day? Yeah. Not more? Yeah. I don't know. 100 hours a week. I work a lot of hours in a week. I don't do drugs, okay? I don't like to drink neither. Although, I'll have a cognac or two, but I don't like to drink. I don't like alcohol. But I do love cigars. Cigars puts me in that time mode. What that means is when I take my cigar, I just sit there and enjoy my time. Because when you smoke a cigar, you can't just, it's not like a cigarette where you can just smoke it as fast as possible and flick it and get the hell back wherever you were going to. Cigar, you have to sit down, you have to cut, you have to uh, toast, and then you gotta smoke. It does take about 45 minutes to smoke this goddamn thing. But when I do smoke it, it's almost like a meditation for me. Cigars meditate me. It gets me to think about, it pretty much tells me to slow down, stop, sit down, relax and think and that's truly what I do I would sit down and just think and what I think about is what I'm doing throughout the day what I'm gonna do throughout the day what I'm gonna do tomorrow because I don't stop thinking because I oh I'm a very and you know this Dan I'm a very organized person I love to be organized 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 and Dan is like let's do it this way and this way and this way I'm like let's do it this way and then let's plan for the next five days where Dan is this way, and then let's plan for tomorrow, which is just fine, but I'm, I just like to plan weeks, sometimes months in advance. I'm just, that's just who I am, right? It doesn't matter which way you do it. But anyways, for my busy life, I like to sit down, relax, and enjoy my time with this cigar. Wouldn't you say so? Let me ask yeah. you, why, did, why do you like, I mean, you smoke cigars. Why do you like to smoke cigars? Same exact reason. Because, yeah, I mean, if you don't take a break, you won't get a break so uh sometimes you just gotta force yourself you know those emails can wait phone calls can wait clients can wait yep especially if it's only 45 minutes you know that's it you're not taking the whole day off that is because so you true. got too drunk the night before you're, you're enjoying <laughs> a cigar so i like it better than drinking that's true i've never seen it that way but the way i see it is you know i'm a very very busy man I'm very, very busy, all right? Sometimes my own wife can't get a hold of me. So that kind of tells you how my whole day, day's work is. My, my own wife sometimes can't get a hold of me. So, and sometimes I can't even get a hold of myself how much I'm just running around doing things. But a cigar just puts me at ease. So is it worth 500 bucks? Oh, absolutely. It's worth, I'll be honest, if it was priced at a thousand dollars, still buy it. I think it, it, it's still worth it. So if you're looking to buy the Oro Blanco, now now here's the hard part: finding availability. That is the hard part. You may be able to find it online at CoronaCigars.com. However, they're like always sold out. 
Um, we do have a Davidoff uh, cigar. Well, it's actually Corona cigars, also known as Davidoff cigars, um, that do carry all, uh, or they can carry the Oro Blanco. It's just really hard to get a hold of them. But if you do find them in your cigar store, the Oro Blanco, definitely buy it. Definitely find a nice occasion for it. I do it about twice a month, and the reason, or once to twice, and the reason I do it once or twice a month is because I like to celebrate all my achievements for the month. And that's so important, you know, it's so important to celebrate your achievements, even if it's a small achievement. Even if you just won a deal for $10,000 for that month, it's nice to sit down and celebrate that $10,000. I mean, it ain't 100,000, but it's still, you know, as you learn from our courses, we start small, we start with mini goals, and then we get to the big goals. So that's the way I see it. You can't close a $1,000 deal, you're not gonna get a $100,000 one, mm -hmm. so. One very important thing that I like to, to do is, with my ash, I like to hold the ash as long as I can. Because it does truly give it more flavor the more ash you have, the more flavor the cigar is going to have. And another thing I learned, when I'm smoking a cigar too fast, it'll create like a cone shape. And, and that's when I know I need to slow down. But anyways, the more ash you have on your cigar, the better it just tastes. I, I don't know, it's just a weird little theory that I've been experimenting. But other than that, I love this cigar. It's wonderful. You should probably break one of these uh, wine bottles open. But those of you who have not signed up to our courses, like I said, guys, get in there. It's, I know the, pr the price, it's well priced, and there's a reason for that price, because you will get that exact, if not more, value for your dollar. Because we truly give expert. It's not like data dumps where if you know you sign up for a course and, and then you you know you pay for it, and all of a sudden you're in a Discord. Here's all this data, and you got to search through there to find stuff. It's not like that. <clears throat> all right, our courses are step by step, and they're video taught. So when you sign up, you enter your credit card, you pay that whatever membership you want. First thing that pops up is a video of an introduction and then next step is another video you know and they're all topics that all of them are have new topics they're in the courses course one through five and then of course 1.1 through 1.5 is nothing but like uh preparing yourself you know teaching about mini goals uh, self-motivation it also teaches you about meditation and the importance of meditation too and then uh, by course three, that's when we start teaching you live on a camera how to earn money. And we do it by many, many ways. Actually, right now, I'm sitting here smoking the cigar and I'm actually making money. So, and I teach you how you can do the same. Now, watch me enjoy this $500 cigar. It's like a virgin. Beautiful. So you inhale or no? Hell no, you don't inhale cigars. You just swap it around your mouth, get the taste in your mouth, and then you just let it all out. It's pretty much uh, one of the main reasons I actually smoke cigars because you know a lot, of, a lot of my doctors say when you're doing too much, you gotta stop and breathe. Well, I was able to do that with uh, cigars, stop, Inhale, breathe. Makes sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for uh, watching the channel. Like I said, if you have not purchased a Oro Blanco yet, definitely do it. If you're a first-time user or a first-time smoker of cigars, I would probably avoid the Oro Blanco just because it is a stronger cigar. Um, it has more of a taste, I like to say. Um, but I can recommend you a cigar right now if you are a fresh smoker. I would go with the Davidoff Anniversario or the Davidoff Tampa Edition. Those two are definitely mild cigars, full of flavors, and they're good for any new timer or any virgin.
Luckily, I don't have that problem. See that ash? I'll let it stay as much as possible. You know, you know they have a competition. I saw, I saw this on YouTube, and you can probably YouTube, but there's a competition. I'm not joking. About who can hold their ash throughout the whole cigar. Damn. I'm not. I mean, that's a, that's a, I mean, that's a long competition because not only do you have to smoke it, but you got to sit there and, and like hold it a certain way. Then you got to go underneath it and smoke it underneath so the ash doesn't fall. They actually do that. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll check you on the next one. See you later.